Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to a little more Space Crew, as we sort of pick up after that absolute banger of a last mission where old bloody engines Paz got launched out into space. Poor prick, I kind of left him behind. But we went and got him. Actually, no, we didn't leave him behind. We did recover him in the end. So let's go check out what's going on around here. Let's just double check. Crew gear. Look, we're still running the only preset that's available. I know that there's some, you know, other stuff that we can equip to them, but I'm not that worried. I don't want to get into that too much, to be honest. Um, they seem to be doing quite fine with their little bloody marine uniforms, so that's fine. Now, training. Again, I, I don't really know what's going to trigger the secondary skill row. Level 6 and level 8. She'll start getting other things. Oh, level 12? Auto tag fighters. Oh my goodness. Right, well, there's some exciting times ahead to be sure. Anyway, so onto the spacecraft, because we unlocked a few little bits and bobs as well. Let's check them out. We got armor plating level 2. 1500 to 2000. That's, uh, good. I'm assuming that's... Oh no, that's 1000. Okay, you know, that's significant. That's significant. And, uh, what else we got here? Shields Mark II. This, right. Balanced reactor. Now, what's going on here? An efficient ship reactor, while not particularly well armoured, it provides a lot of power output. It gives us seven pips of power, and this one gives us four at a cost of going to 125 health. That is very appealing. <laughs> I would love to have more power, man. Like, I would love it. Now, how much health uh, money do we have? 33,250. So we're just, we're, we'll call it 300. I don't know how we ended up with five, but I think it all, oh no, no, it does it 125s as well, some of the costs. But uh, 255 bucks is what we need. Oh, it's like, as much as I want that, there are still other incremental things that we can afford, like for example, armor or the other uh, guns. I haven't forgotten about that. And I think, given how quickly it can turn... Jeez, look at that bloke's hairline. Um, given how quickly shit can go sideways in this game and then it wipes everything, I don't think we can afford to just say, oh, we'll hold on to our money for another 300 or whatever. I think we need to buy every upgrade we can where we can. So Auto Cannon Mark II, I think, is a big deal and I need to get it. So now we've got Mark IIs across the board. I'm not really going for the hybrids. If we end up wiping and we do a new ship sort of thing, I might look at the hybrids there and see how that pans out. But for the moment, that's the game plan. Um, engines. We've got these uh, these lower mission ones, right? Same speed, but lower armor. It's not well armored when damage radiation emissions are very low. I think... It still seems to be an upgrade. At the very least, I want to take it. Um, I was going to say to see the cost of this, but I don't think you pay to get that unlocked. Anyway, I'm going to install one of them. Well, there you go. You do. Re well, refund. You get a refund for installing it, right? So all that implies to me, you know how I like to compare costs. Um, I say it all the time. It's, it's the closest way to figure out what a developer thinks the value lies in. Now, that doesn't mean... That's the case, because people find exploits and and they find ways that the game works that the developer never anticipated, and then that either gets patched out or becomes meta or whatever. That's how games work. But broadly speaking, the costs of things in games, just about any game, can give you an idea of the developer's perceived power level of said item. So it's a good guide, but like I said, it's kind of on the community to figure out what is and isn't better. But anyway... Um, now we're only down to 370 bucks. What I will check... Now that's going to cost us 3250 right? And we've got 370 Just having a quick sip. So we need like 2900-ish. Call it, Probably call it 3000 the way that the mission meets out money. Um... So if we can do a mission that gives us 3,000, that'd be pretty cool. Wow, we're getting into the really risky stuff now. Bounties, this this prick's still out there somewhere. So we got through a medium risk last time, all right? 
This must be a different one. There's your little repeat symbol, right? 2,250. 4,000. I mean, oh, wow. Hang on. Recover comms probe. Oh, you know what? That's probably got that more money because it counts his sort of bounty, his value. There you go. That's his value. Um, I don't want to be too greedy as much as, you know, they're probably good for clicks to get my whole bloody ship blown to pieces. I'm not a save scummer, you know. The semi-roguelike nature of this appeals to me greatly. We did a medium mission uh, last time and we prob we got trounced pretty hard and it went like over for the episode length, so I need to go faster. So I think, yeah, I think, yeah, we're going to do another medium for the moment and we're going to see how we sit. Remember, we've got the weaker engine now, but we've upgraded the gun. Uh, yeah, yeah, that should be good. Not quite enough to get the shields, but, uh, but the others are much cheaper, aren't they? 1,500 and, well, 2,000? Hmm, 2,250. Like, I don't want to game it too much, but, yeah, the research increase is significant. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know, that's, that is actually really interesting. Like, right now, we're at a point where we've got more stuff than we can actually afford with money. Hmm, I'm starting to convince myself the other direction now, right? 250 bucks is not a huge difference between the two of them. The big difference is the 500 or the 1500, but I don't need research, which is, for those that aren't across it, it's this number up here, which dictates what's available on the spacecraft. Though, well, I assume it does. <coughs> well, excuse me. We'll go back. And this is going off of my knowledge of bomber crew, right? But if I were to click on escape pods, it doesn't actually, uh, it doesn't show us the things that are locked. Do you know what I mean? Usually it would, and it would have the research cost associated. Maybe they'll patch that on proper launch. But, so, so I know how the system works because it's the same system from their previous game. And usually it would have the next upgrade sort of grayed out and it locked behind the research cost. Hmm. That's, I wonder if that's an oversight because you got to wonder if they're not going to update that accordingly then why even show us the research value that you have? Do you know what I mean? Hmm. Like, that number means nothing if I can't aim towards certain upgrades. Yeah, it, it could be so that it's just not in the current version that I'm playing. Remember, we're playing a little bit ahead of release. Um, I've convinced myself that I want to do this, the transport supplies one. It's lower risk. We should be able to fly through it faster. We'll farm up a little bit of money and be able to buy the stuff that we've... Uh, already unlocked. I think that's the smart move, you know? Um, okay. I guess off we go. Fastest route is probably the go, I would say. Because we are, like, I don't want to get a little bit, I don't want to get too up myself. But we're pretty much at a point where we're pushing medium risk. So, we should be able to go a little bit harder on this. Having said that, I'm sure that that bloody bounty guy could pop up. That's how it works, right? I'd be curious. We might have a chance to fight him now, as opposed to just hold out until he leaves. He seems to time out after a while when we fought him last time. Alright, let's go... Uh, attack. Cancels any currently tag waypoints and puts strong... Switches to an offensive pilot mode, which will plot a course toward enemy fighters. Well, let's just do that for starters. And we'll put everyone in their gun seat. Did they not just say that there were fighters inbound? Yeah. Yeah, gone well, crew. This would be a good test to see if we can sort of hold it down. All right, hang on. Now, right side's down, so what we'll do is go defensive, and she should veer away. The unshielded. So that No, no, that's not right. Sorry, that's bottom. That's bottom and front. That throws me. 
So as long as front's facing away. All right, hang on. Now we'll go evasive. Yeah, look, the shields aren't charging fast enough, so... Evasive probably buys us time to get him into the saddle to go replenish shields. And then he'll reset the shields. Come on, buddy. Good work. Nice. You know what? I'll turn off evasive. Oh, look, so turning off evasive... All right. There's no need to ever turn it off. Because that reset it back down to, uh, down to nothing. So you might as well... Well, I mean, I guess it could start the timer sooner. But you're sort of losing a bit of value, I think. Look at this. We're, we're shredding them. This is much better. All right. Defensive, so... Try and get them away from the top. There you go, now the shields are recharging. Probably attack now. I'll go defensive. As if we've ever got zero shields, oh Jesus. Alright, has she got evasive? She does, so we'll do this. We'll get back into this rhythm. Evasive. No, 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 no. I think I grabbed the wrong guy. No, no Paz, get back in your gun. Right, well, replenish shields is on cooldown. Interesting. Can't seem to stealth mode. Interesting. I wonder if that's because she's doing evasives. Let's turn off evasive. Stealth mode. There you go. So we'll just put into stealth mode to buy that space. We'll get Paz to repair the reactor. I will pop replenish shields now. Paz back in there. Uh, shields are back up, so we'll pop out of stealth mode. And, uh, oh look, we managed to drift away. That's interesting. And I haven't had to call in support, and I haven't had to use my gun, gunner's focus fire. Which maybe I should just just abuse them. Oh, overdrive, that's right, risk of fire. So Velasquez has been hurt quite a bit. So this wasn't exactly the walk in the park that I thought it would be. Alright, where are we going? The objective. We'll get them to heal up. No scanner, because Velasquez is off station. So if there were baddies come along, then we wouldn't see them. Hmm. Alright, Cavaro. Uh, ready to charge. Engage. Yeah, okay, so I think you got you really gotta use all the tools in the in the belt. Enemies are incoming. Uh, I think immediately we're going to call in fighter support. Oh, I've got little green dudes on our team. There we go, enemies up here. Alright, first things, focus fire is still on cooldown for them. 
Uh, I think what we'll probably do is put Paz straight on there. And see if we can't get a boost to guns. Uh, or boost two. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Um, and we attack Moonover. Just really front foot them, you know? Try and shred them as fast as possible. Now we got more. Boost is still going, so we're going to ride it out. Now we'll go defensive now. We'll go back on the attack now that the shields are charging. Alright, boost is finished, so Paz will repair. And then get back on the guns. Returning to base. Yeah, see that worked out well. We do, I, I don't think I need to hold the fighter thing quite as much. Alright, that was good. It's good. How's everyone going? Paz, you can do a quick heal, mate. You're gonna hit that? Really? Who's driving this? How drunk are you? A rye. Wait, wait. Landing pad? Alright, the, the captain's got a little bit of a flesh wound. But I think we'll just power through. We could maybe get her to heal now. Oh, we got some damage there. Okay, we're... Cargo secure. Yep. Let's just get out of here. I thought we had a spanner marker. Fastest route, that's the way we came, so we'll stick with it. I mean, we could probably just do evasive all the way, right? I guess we're getting there. Yeah, I think that's interesting. She straight lines it a bit more. Alright. Well, I like this guitar. Don't. Nice. Forward shields has failed, you reckon? You reckon? The one's one asteroid that's not part of the belt. All right, let's fast forward. Charge. All right. Engage. Enemy activity. Let's go. Can we call in the fighter support? Negative. Alright, let's see. Attack maneuvers. Paz, give us engines. Boost. Oh, sorry, weapons. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. They just melted us a bit. Defensive. Evasive piloting. Actually, we can still go offensive while we've got evasives, I reckon. All 
Alright, these boys can turn on their focus fire. I don't think we need the overdrive just yet. This will really shred them up. Alright, attack, yep. Oh, no, you love to see it. Alright, our evasive is up. We're still charging fairly rapidly. Boost has a bit more in it. Oh my goodness, they're starting to pump us now. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Defensive. No, 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 you stay there. My bad. You go there. What I want is the security chief. Replenish shields, mate. Oh, did we kill them all? Oh, no, there's more. They can't get close enough to land on us, you know? Alright, get on the guns. Get an offensive attack. There we go. How are we looking for fighter support? Not so much. That's okay. Our shields got popped pretty quick then. We'll go evasive piloting and attack. Jeez, she recharges the evasives fast. All right, we're still missing front shields, though. Stuff this will cut the evasive away to reset the timer. We'll go on the attack. Oh, fighter supports here, we might as well. Oh, we're just popping them now. Rodenko getting pumped there at the end. We'll put him in the med bay. Paz, uh, you can fix that up before it sets on fire. And you, my love. Oh, yeah, you're set course. You'll probably charge already. Engage! And we've made it. Are we on fire? We're on fire. Paz, what are you doing? Probably extinguish that fire, eh, Big Paz? Nice, you can go back to your station, mate. Oh, beautiful. That's a good, that's a solid mission. Um, we did beat it handily, but, you know, I, uh, I learnt very quickly that we still have to use all of our abilities and all our tools in the tool belt. Even on an easier mission, you know, you got to be safe than sorry. We did cop a, a fair few waves there. All right, supplies transported, very good. Oh, yeah, we got a reasonable bit of XP, like a third of a bar or something like that. Not bad. Oh, here we go. A new engine, armored reactor. Now we're getting some reactor choices and a mid bay level two as well. Very good. So we're still getting a lot of uh, stuff increased there. So what we might end up doing is do maybe some of these lower missions for the moment just to turn the credits. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what you guys think as well, you know? Because I'm all for pushing the envelope, but this game has shown us that if you push a little bit too hard, you lose everything. And while I'm not risk averse, I'm still a sensible person. So we've got to keep all that in mind. Anyway, team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.